Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on set notation. Uh, this is the final video on this topic and in this video we'll just be covering some examples. Uh, so the first one, uh, let A equal the set 1, 2, 3, 8, 10 and 12 and B is the set 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 10. Write down the sets A and B. Okay, uh, so A and B is any number that appears in both sets. So if we go through set A, uh, we can see that 1 only appears in A, uh, 2 appears in both sets, here and here, uh, 3 appears in both sets, here and here, 8 only appears in the one set, uh, 10 appears in both sets, and 12 doesn't appear in the second set. Uh, so therefore, for part A, the set A and B uh, equals, remember to use your curly brackets, it's the numbers 2, 3 and 10, and close the bracket. And then for part B, write down the set A or B. So I'm just going to rub out the highlighter there. Uh, so A or B is obviously the numbers that are in both sets. Uh, but as we've seen, 2, 3 and 10 are repeated, so we don't have to write those twice. Uh, so part B then, A or B. Uh, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then it's 8, 10, and 12. Uh, so those are the numbers in all of the, oh sorry, both sets. So that's all the numbers in A and B. So moving on to the second example then. Considering the following Venn diagram, so we've got sets P and Q plus the universal set, state the numbers in the following sets. So the first bit, part A, is P and Q. Uh, so as we've seen before, that's the intersection, so that includes the numbers 4 and 5. Uh, so if we write our answer in set notation, we have P and Q equals 4, 5. And then part B, uh, that's Q dashed. So Q dashed is anything that's not in Q. Uh, so that's anything outside, I'm going to draw a blue circle now. So anything that's outside of the blue circle. Uh, so let's write Q dashed in set notation. Uh, so that is the numbers 1, 2, 7 and 8. So finally then, part C, uh, so C is P or Q, so that's the or symbol. Uh, so that's the numbers inside both circles, or either circle, sorry. Uh, so that's everything inside both of those circles. So that is the set, if I use the set notation again, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 14. Uh, so that's about it for this video. If you'd like to have a go at some harder Venn diagram exam style questions, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. There's a variety of different question types, and you'll get feedback on each and every one. Uh, so this is available instantly, which is a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you need to improve, and you can do so using the work solutions that are also available. So if you're interested, then click the link below, and it will take you straight over to the exam.